G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I'm back in Ballingup. The uh, next part I'll be doing after today is Ballingup down to Donnelly River. Now accommodation for the night, uh, I think it's called the Post House. So that's going to be my first stop to check in there. And then we'll have a nice little walk around Ballingup and see what we've got. Now, how did I get into Ballingup? It wasn't that difficult actually. From Perth, I caught the Australian train, which brought me straight down to Bunbury. And then from Bunbury, there was a connecting link onto the road coach. And the road coach just dropped me up here in Balingo. About three hours altogether from where I got on. So you're looking at probably uh, three and a half hours from the city of Perth. But fairly comfortable and easy ride down. Yep, as soon as you walk in the door, this is what we've got on the left hand side. Got a linen cupboard with your sheets and um, pillowcases and towels, mops, linen basket to throw your dirty towels and sheets in, a vacuum to clean up after yourselves. Oh, we've got clean dunas at the top. Next to that, we've got a shower with a vent. And then you've got a second shower. Opposite the showers, a couple of sinks. Come on down. And then we come to two toilets. All nice and clean and nicely decorated. And then we've got a step down, so mind the step. And you've got a nice old living area here. TV. What's in the baskets? Let's have a look. Food bag. Somebody's left their glasses. DVDs. Games. Books underneath. We have a dining area and a kitchen. Toaster, kettle, stove. How cool is all this? A lot better than I was expecting. And tea towels. And bedroom, I'm in number three. And this one's got four or well, two bunks in there, so it's four beds altogether. I've taken on nearest the door, which is also the nearest to the light switch. But how nice is that? Got cabinets, just store your things in there. So I'm going to be comfortable tonight. And then get up early in the morning and head off down to Donnelly River, which I'm looking forward to. Even though some people have said about the cardiac hill is a, a bit of a bugger. Well, if it's that bad, I'll just take my time and relax. Is this one open? So I'll look. Oh, yep, this door opens. A nice little seating area outside. Electric barbecue by the looks it, some spare seats. Yes, I'm liking this. Okay, I'll finish getting set up in here and I'll grab what I need 
and I'll head into town and we'll have a look around. I didn't show you back in the post house is they've also got a laundry and at the head of each bed which I didn't notice until I just went and bought a USB charger they've got a double USB point so you can charge your phones your cameras and everything from your bed which is uh, really cool <laughs> I needed a spare one so I'll put that one in the car when I get back I'm just heading, heading into town now so I'm going to go to the visitor centre thank them there for helping me on the phone yesterday and then go and have a wander around and see what we've got down here look at this how beautiful is that the whole railway coming through excuse me <coughs> gonna sneeze the whole railway going, uh, coming through nice green area some trees you can sit under if you want well these things primary school by the looks so I'm all right now I won't point the camera that way even though there's no kids out yeah this is just beautiful here yeah, the Bunning Up Visitor Centre. How cool is that? It's bald. Old cow. Oh, you're not bald, cow. Muretsi. Sandra Hill. Oh, there's somebody there to have a chat with, if you want. So, there he is. If you've got your maps, you can pick a new one up here. Remember your trail log book to sign in, say where you come from, where you're going, how long you're going to be, and if you're staying overnight. That's for safety. So if anything happens to you, they know being between shelters or towns, where to look and find you even quicker. And all the little pamphlets for things to do if you're going to stay an extra day or two here. Hey, <laughs> how beautiful is this little shop? or this little visitor centre, store, shop, whatever you want to call it. Oh, the coffee, important. There you go, if you want to learn anything along the way. These snakes, landforms, birds. I don't want to be filmed behind the counter, so I'm doing my best not to show them. Now, a cool shop, hey. Call in. Fake people here. Like I said, they helped me out for getting accommodation for the night. The visitor centre is also where you can get your resupply sent. I'll send it here to your visitor centre, and when you get to town, as long as they're open, because they're only available when it's the open hours, so you're going to need to check what times that is. But uh, this is where your parcels get with all your food and everything you want to swap around for your pack. Now, I'm going to head down the street that way and have a look what else is here. A bit noisy on the road, but. <laughs> all your pies and. Sausage rolls and everything in that one. Little peddlers. Nice. <laughs> really nice. Little trees, like. <laughs> All things wool and wonderful. Right. Cut and canvas. For your knitting shop, uh, knitting wool shop for your knitting. That's a bit. And then got bazaar closed at the moment.
So the flies are a bit friendly. We'll walk down and then we'll come back up the other side. Some of the locals there, the ducks. Over the road from the local docks, the Banning Up Liquor and General Store in Bottom Art. Yeah, in a general store with some very basic supplies, food, sports, knives and forks, dry sacks, ponchos, no, no, dining kits, sock protectors, bamboo socks there and so on. Flip flops if you're from England. And you're a bit thirsty when you get here. Got all the milk and the cold drinks. And all the basic shampoos, toothpaste, Gaviscon, wipes, clean heat for your aches and pains. Yeah, a little bit more than. I noticed when I came in last week. And I think I was a little bit too tired then, I just wanted to get on the bus and head home. But yeah, there you go. And on top of that, if you want a drink, on the other end, we have a liquor store. Yeah, let's carry on walking up the other side of the street now. Shed. Cafe. Spooky serve your harbour coffee. Oh, I might just have to go and get myself a coffee. What do you think? Famous fruit, ports, and liquors of Banninga. Sat here now waiting for my coffee from the Oldie Shed Cafe. Hmm. Let's see what it's like, shall we? I'm not hungry yet, but it's probably somewhere just up the road. So I'll have a wander up there and I'll we'll have a look and let you know what it's like. I'll call in there later on. I should just sat over the road from the visitors centre. Coffee's here. A little taste test. It's not too bad. Mm, gives you a little bit of a bite. Just what you need with a coffee. That famous fruit, ports, liquors and uh, of Balling Up. We've got another sign saying free tasting of ports and liquors. Worth calling down just for that, what do you think? Okay, if you're not feeling your best when you get into Banning Up, I'd rather see the sign for the doctors. I think, yeah, there it is, the sign for the doctors. Just down there, opposite the general store, and at the packing shed, on the side, you have the Banning Up pharmacy. Go get your gear for your toes and your blisters and your headaches and your aches and pains. Yeah, we just come up to the uh, War Memorial. Oh, beautiful. Uh, 
those who serve in peace and any of the names. Died on service 1914 to 1918. Here. The trees are guarding the memorial. Died on service 1939 to 1945. But the, uh, the gardener's out trimming all the edges of the street here. Here in the background, is still with the snipper. Just gonna have a, a walk. That's the gardener. Let's head in. That's where I came from. And this is where your bus stop is. If you're coming on the Trans WA line, which is where I got off. There's your information bay. And your wargles on the top there. That's the door. That's the cell. The actual bus stand, as you can see, a nice big area for the bus to pull in. Now, this is to take you back to the uh, Bunbury side. This one, and the actual one you get dropped off is where are we? Opposite over there. And here in Ballingup, I was told back in Perth by someone I met the Ballingup Medieval Carnival. The fourth week in August, the sign said there. I would have missed it, but it looks like they had a great time. Here's a town map. Simple. Uh, how cool is that? And some more posters and pictures of the medieval carnival. Herbal products over there. For the tinderbox shop. Let's cross over and have a look for the window. Open all your smellies in there. Oh, I can smell it from here, it smells fantastic. That's all the immediate vicinity of the town of Banning Up. I'll be heading up that direction in the morning, back on the building track, heading down to Donnelly River. Yeah, I'm just loving this town. Apart from all the noise, that one going wouldn't be too bad, but yeah, the old road going all the way up there, up the hill. Oh, little country town. <laughs> 